Good evening, Deb here, day 61 video, and the word of the day is respect. What else did I write on here? Oh, nothing of interest. I wrote lots of stuff. Anyways, um... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have started the video till I knew what I was going to say. Um, I will say that I'm not normally someone affected by the allergy season, but um, here in Texas, ragweed has been really bad, and I have just had these sinus headaches right here. Unbelievable. I, I certainly feel for people who have these issues all the time, because they, I think they said something about ragweed was up at 600. I don't know. I don't pay attention to stuff. I care this stuff for my clients, and um, that's abnormally high, apparently, and my son has not been feeling well, and my daughter-in-law has been homesick for two days with allergy symptoms, and boy, it can wear you out. So my sympathy to those who deal with this on a regular basis. Anyway, as far as respect goes, what do I want to say to that and refer to the 100-day challenge? The first thought that comes to mind, of course, is respecting other people, but with that, I've always found that there's a certain... I have a fear of intrusion. I know some of you will get it right away what I mean by that. Um, I always feel like I'm bothering people. Uh, I have phonophobia. And um, I don't know if that comes from respecting that I wouldn't want to be intruded upon without invitation or if that just comes from a downright fear fear of talking to people I don't know I mean in my treatment room I'm fine because these people have made an appointment to see me on purpose and I don't have a fear of, pub a fear of public speaking if you put me in front of a group I am right on top of the game but I have always just felt this problem with either calling people at their homes. I'm okay with calling. Well, no, I even have a problem with calling people at work. I just always feel like I'm interfering and in that it's somehow disrespectful to interrupt your day. Unless you said, call me. And that's the first thought that comes to mind when I think of respect. Um, I really don't know where I want to go with that. I don't want to just sit here with empty space. I really think that I have an issue there. It, I'm, my issue is not knowing the difference. I mean, if you had a great idea, your friends would expect you to tell them, but out of respect for not wanting to interfere, you see where I'm going with that? There's my dilemma. Yes, I'm always giving you my dilemmas. <sighs> Anyways, um, how is the world treating me? Mm. I had, you know, it's funny, me and my mom, when we opened our spa, it pretty much ruined any relationship we had had. Um, I don't recommend going into a brick and mortar type business where there's a heavy mortgage and lots of expenses with family members because it just doesn't work out. Now that we've closed the building, yes, there's still the mortgage to pay and, and money is tight for both of us, but at least we can still have conversations about things and, and it's all cool. And I got her, I'm her cleansing coach on her weight loss program and so I went over last night and had a little chit chat with her and did her measurements and got her started. And it was nice to actually be able to sit and talk to my mom again without that business dilemma interfering with the relationship. So that was cool. So that's an interesting manifestation from this odd little business venture I started. Um, and it was interesting. I went over to my sister's house because she has a son that, that's, um, well, actually all of her children have had weight issues. And it's funny because it really comes from her husband's side of the family. Our, our side of the family has never really had weight things, issues. So her, she has a 12-year-old son, and I went over to talk to her about that. 
the interesting thing was I mentioned cleansing and since she knows that I'm an esthetician and she was just in for a facial th she thought I was talking about skincare products which is what she wanted <laughs> so I showed her some of that too but it was just funny how that worked out but here's the interesting thing of that whole thing is last night well two days ago I had been talking to a client and she said something about Oklahoma City and I said oh I have cousins in Oklahoma City I haven't seen them in years and I, mean, I literally have not seen them in years I've seen my uh, Aunt Shirley probably six years ago when she came to my niece's wedding but haven't heard from anybody from that side of the family since then and uh, so I mentioned you know my cousins in Oklahoma City probably two days ago and got to of course you think how's everybody doing and I'm sitting at my sister's house like last night and who should call but my Aunt Shirley who's the Oklahoma City aunt and I just you know the more you I was just I was just watching somebody's video oh Lisa Lisa's vid video the more you're in tune the more you see all the little nuances and everyday signs and things that are just there and and yet you miss them and I don't know that I would have put it all together you know with talking about my cousins a couple of days ago with my aunt Shirley calling with I started this business which led me to be at my sister's house at that time when she called I mean it was just it's just weird but it lets you know that the universe is working for you and not to ignore it all so I respect the universe for all of that and I love um, I don't know what your if your first name is really ginger but the house lady out in California who just did a video on on her cool manifestations I mean and that just really opened my eyes to allowing the universe to do everything in their own way if even if it's not the way you intended for it to go so anywho it was never my intention to be in another multi-level marketing business at all and it certainly isn't on my board but I do read in my statement every night that I am a millionaire and if it's going to give me ways to do it multiple ways to do it because I don't know of any one thing that's going to get me there I certainly will be open to the opportunities so everything is working out wonderfully well I look forward to getting the copy of my book in the mail actually I am anticipating that for those of you who know about me in anticipation that's a good thing I'm anticipating that book being in the mail I'm already thought of ways to market it and I'm I'm excited about that so I've been working on some of my other websites trying to get them up and running so that it'll all be in place and ready to go and that for tonight um, day 61 respect I would sing to you but um, my throat is tired, so R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what it means to you. <laughs> Bye.